guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a fantastic day and if you're new here consider subscribing i upload new content every week so in today's video i thought i would show you guys on how to make these eco-friendly dryer balls that are completely made of 100 wool and are a great substitute to your dryer sheets so these are not filled with chemicals like your typical dryer sheets and these can be used over and over again i'm pretty sure probably up to like a thousand washes so you're definitely going to get your monies out of this and monies money out of this and you're going to be helping the environment as well as your own health so if you're interested in learning on how to make these dryer balls just keep watching. All you're going to need to get this started is one or two skeins of 100% wool yarn. You're also going to need a blunt needle or a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and along with a pair of nylons or some knee-high stockings. Now using these two skeins of yarn, this is going to make about three tennis-sized balls. So you're going to begin by wrapping your wool yarn around your first two fingers about 10 times. Then you're going to pinch the bundle of yarn in the middle and pull off your fingers. Wrapping more yarn around the middle of this bundle and creating a bow shape. Now you're going to wrap your yarn around the entire bundle until you have the beginning of a ball. You're going to continue wrapping tightly until your ball is the desired size. I make mine about the size of a tennis ball. While I fast forward this and I'm wrapping up the ball, I'm going to be just giving you guys some simple saving tips when it comes to this project. And a couple of my tips that I have for you is simply taking an old sock and bundling it up or a piece of fabric and using that for the middle of your ball. As well, if you really want to be thrifty and green, you can unravel an old 100% wool sweater you're not wearing, or you can purchase a wool sweater at a secondhand store and use the yarn for this project. Once you have reached your desired size of ball, you're going to use your scissors and just cut off the yarn. Now using your blunt tip yarn needle or a crochet hook, you're going to tuck in the ends of the thread under several layers of the yarn and this is going to prevent your ball from unraveling. Once you've pulled it through a couple times, if you have a little bit of a tail end still left, you can use your scissors and just simply cut the end off. Now using the remainder of your wool yarn, you're just going to repeat these steps until you have your three balls. Now this is where the nylon comes in. You're going to cut the leg off on an old pair of nylons or use knee-high socks. I purchased these nylons from the dollar store so they're dirt cheap and I didn't mind cutting them up. Now you're going to put your balls into the toe of the nylon, tying tightly in between each one, creating a knot. Now that we have created our yarn caterpillar, we're going to throw the entire thing into the wash with either a load of towels or a load of jeans if you used brightly colored yarn. Following that, we're just going to toss it straight into the dryer using the hottest dryer setting. Now we're going to remove the balls from the nylon and check for felting. Now do keep in mind that not all types of wool yarn will felt on the first try, so you may need to repeat the washing and drying cycle up to three or four times. You'll know your felting has occurred when you can gently scrape your fingernail over the top of the ball and the strands do not separate. 
And that's all that's to it. If you want to slightly scent your laundry, you can add one to two drops of your favorite essential oil to each ball before throwing it in the laundry. If you're using a good quality pure essential oil, you'll not have any trouble with the oil spotting your clothes. Now just throw these babies in your dryer with your freshly washed clothes and let them do the work. I'm in love with these guys. They save you time on drying, save you money on your utility bills and on the commercial dryer sheets since you no longer will be purchasing them. These 100% wool dryer balls are naturally softening and reduce static in your clothing as well as free of chemicals so you're not getting in any of those nasty chemicals and are eco-friendly to our environment. I honestly can't say anything negative about these. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and give this video a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. I love you guys to the moon and back. Bye!